In this tutorial, I will walk you through the simple process on how to create Paystack account so that you can start receiving payment for your products and services both locally in Nigeria, in parts of Africa and even globally. If you're ready for this, then let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is that you want to open your browser and type in paystack.com. I will also leave the link to this page in the video description. You can check it out and just copy it and paste on your browser. And once you're here, you want to come to create free accounts. Okay, so once you do that, a registration form is going to pop up for you. So here you want to select your country. I'm in Nigeria. You can see here that these are some African countries that also use Paystack. So if you're in Ghana, if you're in Kenya or South Africa, you can use Paystack also. But I'm in Nigeria, so I'm going to select Nigeria. So you want to give your business a name. So what is your business name? You want to type it in here. Okay, so what's your first name and then your last name. Okay, you want to put in your email address here and then your phone number. Okay, so you want to give yourself a good password. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and here they are asking me what type of business do you own. So yeah, I'm just going to choose a starter business and what this means is that this business has not been registered with either CAC if you're in Nigeria or any of your business registration organizations in your country. So um, for that I'm going to choose starter but if you're a registered business of course you want to pick registered business. So once you do that, you scroll down. Are you a software developer? If you are, you say yes. If you're not, you say no. So I'm just going to say I am not. So once I select that, I'm going to come to the green button here and create my account. Okay, so the next thing is that you're going to be required to verify your email address. So I'm just going to jump to my email inbox and then verify this particular account. All right, so here is my verification notification waiting for me. So I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to come to this link and then I will just confirm my email address. Okay, so once again, I'll be required to re-log in with the same credentials I use in opening the account. So I'm just going to come in here and then I'm going to log into my account. Okay, and straight up my account has been created. So this is the process to creating your account on paystack.com. So once you get this account created, of course, you may not be able to start using it because you need to fill in some important profile details. So I'll just walk you through what to do in this particular account. So here they are saying your business is in test mode, so you can start using paystack right away. To activate live payment, submit your compliance form. So I got it. I'm just going to click on that. So as you can see here, our uh, account is still in test mode. That means it's not really very ready to do some kind of transactions. But then your account is ready. You can still do some things here. But whatever it is that you're going to be doing for now is test. Okay. So what we want to do right now is that you want to fill in this profile form. You want to fill in your contact. Um, the owner's form and then your account. So I'll quickly just go ahead and do that. So here they're asking for your trading name. We already got that settled. So here they're asking for description of your kind of business. So what kind of business do you do? Okay, I'll just say um, selling digital products. Okay, so go ahead and type in the description of your own business. They're asking for your staff size. So here you're just going to say if you have between one and five people, between five and 50 and 50 plus. So I'm going to pick between one and five. What industry are you in? So I'm just going to come in here and then I'm going to choose education. You can choose anyone that best describe. Okay, let me go for digital goods. I think I this one applies to me better. So I'm going to choose that um, category. I'm going to come in here and say digital I will just say other digital goods. Okay, so already we have already chosen the starter business. Okay, so once I save that, all right, you will see that once I save that, okay, here, okay, introducing payout on demand. Okay, I don't want to do that for now. I'm going to just cancel it. So you can see here that the profile has been marked green, showing that we've completed that particular one. And here is a summary of all the things that we have done. So here again, you can see here one of four is completed. So I'm just going to come to the next year so that I can do for contacts. 
okay so here i am they are asking for general email i already have it here that's the email i use in opening this account here i need to type in on uh, the email that i want my customers to get back to me on in case there's an issue but if i want to use the same email i'll just come in here and choose general email if not maybe there are some persons that love to use custom email for example you can put in your custom email but i want to just use the same email and here the same thing for dispute do you want to use the same email or another email i want to use the same email so i'm just going to do that okay so for phone number it's already there if i have a website i can put it in here as you can see here website is not very compulsory so it's not as direct in red so again i can you know add in my social media account my twitter facebook and instagram as you can see here so once you do that are you done you just scroll down okay so what country are you residing in presently of course we chose nigeria already what state or region i'll just come in here and go for lagos what city are you i'll just come for ikeja and then your street address just going to put in your street address here So here they're asking for complex, you know, all of this is optional. I would not need to do that, so I'll just click on save. Okay, so that has been saved. I'm going to close this pop-up again. So you can see now that our contact has been fixed. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to go to next. Okay, so here we want to go with our identification. So here they're asking for your name again. I'm going to put in my name. date of birth, the nationality, I mean Nigerian. Okay, so here they are requesting for identification documents. So here I'm going to just, you know, click the drop down arrow and then I'm going to pick anyone that I want to use for my identification. So I'm just going to go for the national identity number. Okay, so here I'm being requested to put in my national identity number. All right, honestly, I'm not going to do that right now because this particular account is just a test account. I already have another account, you know, that I use. So all you need to do is just to fix in your identification number or, or whatever it is that you're using for your ID. Once you do that, you'll be requested to, you know, upload a copy of your identification. You do that and then you scroll down and then you use either your utility bill, your bank statement, your tax assessment, your cable TV bill, your letter from a public authority or maybe your you know affidavit or something you know as a proof of your address once you do that the owner's mark here is going to be ticked green and then you can go ahead to the last process which is going to be um you know putting in your bank account okay and then once you're done with your bank account and you finish the savings you will see that you will now be able you know to switch in from your test mode to live mode and then your account will be ready for you there are so many things that you can do of course with the account but since the topic that we are trying to deal here is how to open our paystack account i'm going to be ending this tutorial here of course check on my playlist you will see several other you know important things that you can do with your paystack account like opening your payment link you know um, linking your paystack account to your website and several several other things that you can do with this amazing service so if you got value from this video please give it a like and if you want to see more digital marketing and make money online tutorials like this which i publish every time make sure you're subscribed to this channel thank you and i'll see you in my next video